is Malik Willis, QB1 for the 2022 NFL Draft. The Liberty quarterback has been rising up draft boards, playing really well, and even in a loss against Syracuse, there are some things that he did to show us the evolution of his game, and that's going to be something that's going to help his draft stock, something we did not see last year, and we'll talk about that today on top of the things that he already does really well. But before we get into that, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. Love doing these college football breakdowns. College football has been a really wild year, and this game was a perfect example of that. Uh, so if you like these, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the breakdowns, any of the discussion pieces that we have going on or coming up. Uh, again, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, just love discussing college football, and the best way to do that is make sure you're subscribed, like I said. But anyways, Malik Willis. So the first play here is going to be something we've seen from Malik Willis before, and that is the arm strength. And that's going to be his ability to fit the ball into a tight window. So we're going to get cover two here, which means that there's a gap on the outside here. And this is a long throw. So if you look at where the receiver is and where Willis threw the ball, you know that he has to fit it into a tight window. And you can see the cornerback and the safety he doesn't have the biggest window, like I said, to throw the ball. But because his arm strength is so good, he's able to put zip on the ball. You can see he throws it on a rope. And it's really what's his best trait is his fastball, is what people will say. The ability to make a throw like this into tight coverage, into a tighter window, is something that Malik Willis is really good at. And, you know, it's something we talked about in the past. And it's something he appears to continue to do. And in the NFL, he's going to have to make throws like that. And we're essentially throwing it from the right hash to the left sideline. There's not much of a window because if he waits even half more second, you can see this cornerback is already running back. The safety is already converging to close that window. So there's not as much room to get the ball in there. So he has to throw it when he does. And as you can see, the safety is about a yard away when his receiver catches the ball. So if he hesitates even a little bit, that ball might get picked off or, you know, at best knocked down. So again, Malik Wills continues to use his fastball really well. And that's something that's not going to change. Now, this is the thing that's been added to Malik Willis's game. It's it's the touch. Now, everybody said last year that he throws a fastball, but he doesn't have the changeup. And when they talk about that, they mean that he, you know, we talked about in the first play, he can throw a ball really, really fast and really, really hard. And that really helps you when you're trying to fit it in tight windows and when you're just trying to throw a ball deep. But when you're in a situation like this where you can see we're inside the 35 and we're going to throw a go route here, you don't have as much time to just unleash a deep ball. You only have a little time to get the ball in the air, so you have to be able to throw it with touch. And Malik Willis has added that to his game. That is something that NFL scouts are going to love because this is arguably his best pass that he's thrown. Uh, it's Probably not the best. I would say the one they threw against Virginia Tech is the best. But this one's definitely up there. And this is something that scouts are going to love because this is a tight window. His receiver takes an outside release. And as you can see, we're not working with much real estate here. We're basically on the sideline. So there's not much room for error, which means that this ball has to be placed perfectly. It is. And that is something that he has added to his game that is going to make him a very enticing candidate for QB1. Now, I know that there's Sam Howell, Spencer Rattler, Carson Strong, other options you can talk about for QB1, but Malik Willis has the arm strength already to make these big-time throws, and now he's adding this kind of touch. It's just a crazy play that he makes, and his ability to adapt his game, evolve his game, is really going to help him in that QB1 conversation. This is the, probably the biggest play for him in terms of helping his future. And now that we see that he can throw not only throw the fastball, but he's added the changeup to it. He's added the ability to throw with touch. This is crazy for Liberty. I wish that they get you know played a little bit better on Friday night, but we at least saw something that's going to tell us what Malik Willis's future looks like, and something that's really going to help his draft stock when when the time comes around.